single-handedly the worst alt the game has ever had. She is not that good anymore. Moody here and just not even talk about him and forget he exists. <laughs>Me, Legacy, and Cookie are here today. We are raking the Legends in Apex in Season 16. Who is going to be the best? Who is going to be the worst? We get to start with Ash, which, lucky enough, at this time, she quite literally just got buffed. F tier. She was. <laughs> <laughs> no, still is. Terrible one-way dimensional portal and her stupid little rat. I mean, if I'm going to be honest, like, the buff with her Q actually made it, like, her pretty good. The buff is nice. However, I don't think it's strong enough for her to stand out. Just definitely makes her a lot less like Wraith. I'd say a solid B tier. I'd, I'd give her a B. I'd give a B, yeah. Like, very, I, I agree. very average legend. I don't even care about this, like, the smokes. Single-handedly the worst alt the game has ever had. That's the best way to put it. But yeah, Bangalore <laughs> is basically a Call of Duty character, but it's the score streak are awful. Yeah, can we bring back F tier? I'd, I'd, put, I'd put her in C for now. Bloodhound, Bloody Boy, my homie. His the, new rework, the, I don't know how to feel about it. I do like their crow, though. I think it's like a very unique aspect it's to him. It's definitely unique, which is cool. I would he's... definitely say no less than A tier, because Bloodhound's an OG. I'm definitely putting him above Ash, because at the end of the day, he can now scan all beacons to see where everybody is on the map. He has movement with his ult. His ult is still, like, good enough despite his tag not being as useful quite honestly i think catalyst is like pretty good her ult is like really annoying here's the thing that really gets me mad about catalyst being meta don't get me wrong i think she's solid definitely the best of the four we've ranked so far i don't see how people are considering her s tier top two i would put her at above bloodhound putting her the best so far maybe later on she might move on to because i want to say for s at least put three people oh i hate to tell you but the next one on the list you might as well go ahead and throw my stinky ass man up there in s tier i'm telling you right now there is nothing more annoying than playing against a good caustic even if you want to put him a tier i don't care no lower than a like caustic is just so damn good i they... would put caustic higher if it it wasn't for the fact that Catalyst is seen much more now, but her passive is way better and her tactical is kind of better. This character is like right next to Catalyst. Yeah, of... I would put her him below Catalyst. I would say he's definitely up there though. I would put him above Ash even, I think, honestly. Easy boy. C. I mean, I would say like easily C. Like I wouldn't say I he's think he's a C. Barrel. Yeah, I think he's above but... Bang. Our first S tier, undeniably. Gibby's like, yeah. Gibby yeah. is just... I'm, I'm, instant horizon her, her nerf this season is enough to take her out of meta but not enough to make her say that she's not good anymore on a realistic note though horizon definitely <laughs> moved down from s tier because from the last time we did this she was definitely an s tier she's probably bottom a i'm gonna get this out of the way with lifeline i'm gonna say she is not that good anymore when she was first introduced to this game she was undoubtedly top one lifeline on pc is a lot better now solely for the fact that she no longer has a slowdown when tap resing in a, a teammate, but that's only a PC advantage. Like, I think that's just enough for her to be less bare bones than Bangalore. My queen. Boba. I'm gonna say this right here from the jump in between Caustic and Bloodhound. I don't think she's better than Caustic, but I think she's way better than Bloodhound. You could be in a building and care package laying right next to you, but yeah. now. Yeah. Like, literally, you don't have to risk going in the open to get the care package. Yes. The I can best... definitely see the between Caustic and Bloodhound. Bad Maggie. Maggie is definitely a big dick swing on only character absolutely it's solely, it's solely it, like you have to be confident because nine times out of ten what i've noticed when it comes to like maggie players is they're generally running a pk and her ult does properly counter catalyst passive considering that that's the character that a lot yeah. of people like to put in meta in between horizon and bloodhound i would say your homie it's your homie my guy that's me editor please play the clip of me uh, cosplaying mirage oh hey did he see you there I would put him in between Maggie and Bloodhound. I'll give That's it up. I'll say. give it up. I'll still put him like yeah. There. With Newcastle, easily I top have one. No idea. Top one. Top one. Top one. Top one. Top one. Really? Top one. He pretty much has a lifeline res. He has a fucking big wall. Like like if you mm. go near it, you just hit. You get hit and you can take damage. If you think you don't have enough cover with that, you throw the mobile shield down too, and you can control that while you're resing. Theoretically, you can cover the front of yourself with the knockdown shield and the like your back with the mobile shield. You can cover yourself. Yeah. Stimmy boy. Stimmy boy. I genuinely feel like he is a very mid-level character. Like, like, you can be the 
the basic person that just picks him up because oh warzone stim means fast in in a movement yeah, game or yeah. you can be lemonhead but nine times out of ten the like their the movement octanes win that anyway now that i'm looking at it i would put him bottom of a and put horizon like top of b i know you said you were only looking for three in s but i gotta argue for my boy pappy one he's an adorable robot that loves he is. He's, he's so he's wholesome amazing. he's a damn hard person to kill yeah. when it comes to just like individual play i don't care what anybody says s tier all day i think he's gate kept by catalyst into being an s tier like i think he's just behind catalyst this season sheila is funny sheila go burr with her defenses with the shields she can scan ring beacons now which is good i would say that like she's definitely c tier yeah but i mean i think top shield, of c I, I can definitely see that i'd have no argument better with than that. Lifeline? yes I would say better than lifeline, right? yeah but most definitely gate kept by ash all right this this, annoying... this asshole can we put him d here and just not even talk yeah. about him and forget he exists Look, rev has the ability if you know how to play him to be treated like lucio in overwatch that's terrifying yeah. if i had to put rev anywhere i'd probably put him top b but yeah. the, but the thing uh, is above or below horizon above above definitely above especially i'll, I'll from give it up Ah, oh, this guy. No matter how many times you get nerfed, you are still gonna be annoying and meta. I will say, above Catalyst in A tier or low C S tier. I'm down for either one right off the bat. Without a doubt, at least top of A. Above Catalyst for sure. Now, question being, low S tier or high A tier? I think I would put him low S tier. Even though he's still what people would love to say, nerfed to the ground. They hear the word nerf, they think he's bad. He's still just as awful to deal he's with. Still, yeah. He's still one of the best characters in the game by far with the previous valk nerf though should not go above b like her alt used to be so good but like now it's just it, unless you're on high ground it is terrible above maggie or no no then again maggie yes depends on your skill level but she yeah. still values the team yeah I especially with her alt i'll give it up so yeah this one i love vantage i will not accept is any cool. vantage slander she's just more like not really like she's more of a hunker down relaxed type of character she's not like not very good in terms of recon it's for, it's for your more passive players but i will argue she is fifth top five just right behind catalyst i think she is stronger than pathfinder but gate kept by catalyst i could see it as me playing vantage right she has a lot of really good options far range close range however she does not close that's range, where she, she lacks that's she where she lacks. lacks in close range yeah I yeah. would put her top five. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. Uh, I'll give yeah, it up. Yeah, I, I won't argue just because of my love for Pathfinder. I am going to go on a limb. Low S tier when it comes to the fence on the other side of the door. That was... When someone discovered that, when I was like... Yeah, when Casellos uh, when Casellos found that out, like, and it was very good for her. I would I would say, like, in between maybe, like, Loba and Caustic, I would put her. I'll give it up. Definitely not on the better side of the controller class, but not the worst by far. But last but not least, the bald head girl herself. As much as I like to give backlash to this character, I cannot deny the fact at all in Season 16 that she is phenomenal. As much as I love Vantage, I would put her above Vantage. I, I genuinely think, like, as much as I fought for Vantage to be top 5, I don't think she outshines Wraith. I think solely for the fact that she can loop around all of Tactical uh, Catalyst's abilities, I would put her above. Can I argue one thing real quick? Can we please put Bangalore in D tier? Like, I'm tired of looking at her up there. <laughs> we we have a D tier, so I guess we gotta put somebody yeah, there. Yeah, we could, yeah. Like, boom, we did it. Now to farm millions of views yet again. I'm eggs all day, I'm